Hey everyone, it's Intel here. So in today's video, I wanna talk about how to maximize the amount of reach that you have in Minecraft PvP. So pretty much everyone knows that the maximum amount of reach that you have in Minecraft is three blocks, and that isn't changing. That's not what this video is about. What I feel like a lot of people don't know, however, is that it's actually really hard to get a perfect three block hit. So if you're using Lunar or Badline Client, there is a mod called Reach Display, and essentially this just shows you the amount of reach of your last hit. And most of the time when you're actually PvPing, a lot of your hits are going to be one to two blocks of reach as opposed to actually three blocks. Now ideally if you're a really good player you want most of your hits to be as close as possible to that three block limit. If you take a look at a lot of the good players who play this game then you'll find a lot of the times that a lot of their hits are a lot closer to the three block limit than say your average player. So in this video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how you guys can get closer to the three block limit. And once again I want to clarify that there is no way to extend your reach past three blocks but once again you can and make it so that more of your hits are more consistently closer to three blocks of reach. One other thing I want to mention, right now I am on Velt. They just released a brand new practice server and if you are interested in that I will leave more details in the description. But anyways with all that being said let's get right into the video. Okay so the first thing you need to understand when it comes to being able to maximize your reach is crosshair placement. So I see a lot of players will usually tend to aim at the chest or the middle of the player when they PvP and that's not what you want to do. I have my friend right here and then then I have another account and I'm going to try and demonstrate this but basically I'm in F3 right now so you can see a vector that's coming out of each player's head and this sort of indicates their crosshair placement. So right now there's almost an exact three block gap between these two players so if my friend right here decides to look at the other player's head and swing it you're gonna see he's able to get a hit. However, if he lowers his crosshair to the chest region and he tries swinging, then you see he's not going to be able to get a hit on the other player. So basically how reach works in Minecraft is reach is a vector that comes out of your head. And once again, you can sort of physically see this as uh, a line in F3. In order to maximize the amount of reach that you have, you want your reach vector to be parallel with the ground, or you can also think of it as being perpendicular to the player. What you'll usually hear from a lot of good players is to aim at the head. I don't think this is entirely accurate because if the other player is above you then you can see aiming at the head isn't aiming directly straight forward and you're not going to be able to get a hit however if i aim straight forward you can see that my hits start to register you also always want to make sure that your crosshair is in the very center of the player so you can see when it's at the center of the player i'm able to register a hit but if it's even off by slightly then i won't be able to get a hit so once again to recap you want to be looking straight forward you want your reach vector to be parallel with the ground and you want to be aiming at the center of the hitbox so if you're higher than the other player, then that actually limits the amount of reach that you're able to hit them with because they're having to essentially just aim down. If you're not aiming straight forward, you don't have the maximum potential of reach. So as you see, this guy is aiming down on me. They're not able to hit me. However, I am able to hit them. So while you're PvPing, taking the low ground and trying to force your opponent to take the high ground is going to be a pretty big advantage to you because you're going to be able to get higher reach hits than them. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is movement, and this is probably what contributes the most to how much reach you are getting with your hits. So the goal here is to distance yourself as much as possible from the other player, and you can do that by modifying your movement and your opponent's movement. I covered a lot of this in my how-to combo video, but essentially you are just trying to create a gap between yourself and the other player. So the first method is through a rod, and I'm gonna show some clips on screen here, but once again, you wanna make sure that there is distance between yourself and the other player. You don't wanna just just hold W the entire time, you want to try and land a rod on the other player before you actually go in for them. So if you miss a rod, then back up unless you know you can get a free hit on the other player. But once again, just try to keep a gap between yourself and the other player using projectiles. Now, if you aren't using a rod, you can modify your own movement. And once again, don't just hold W the entire time. Do stuff like W tapping, let go of your W key. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to have some more clips up on screen, but essentially you can see that once again, I'm not holding W the entire time. I'm doing stuff like W tapping, strafing, block hitting, S tapping, and I'm doing all these things to my movement to make sure that I'm creating some distance between myself and the other player so that I'm not just right next to them the entire time. You really want to be 
be self-conscious about your movement and how far you are from the other player because you want to try and hit that sweet spot where you're not too close to the other player where both of you guys are just gonna trade but you're not too far away so that they're out of your reach but they're as far away as possible from you while still being within your hit range to recap don't just hold w the entire time uh try to create some distance between yourself and the other player by using projectiles if you don't have projectiles use your movement but the goal is just trying to create distance and by creating that distance you're gonna have hits that are closer to that three block limit anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video those are the main things that you can do to increase your reach to try to hit that three block limit leave a comment down below if this helped you or if you want to leave some more tips for people who are struggling i do really appreciate all the comments that are trying to help people out one more thing i thought i'd mention before i end the video i am partnered with hylas games now and they own servers like velt and stuff so i am going to be making videos and streaming on servers like velt from time to time it's not going to be all my videos i am still going to be primarily doing high pixel content but yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out